Hello, I'm Carlos. Hi, I'm Peter. And that's the ghoul who messed up last week's recording. So, this is the relationship map. So, one of the things about Blood on the Thames is that we're running with the new Vampire System V5. And one of the main new features of that that they brought in is the relationship map, which we are using in the stream. And in each interval, uh, we'll be working with this map. And this map, as you see it here, is what people saw during episode one of the stream. So there's a few things to talk about. Firstly, probably is to say the artwork is done by uh, our fantastic Rachel Denton, who also plays Katia Stern uh, in the stream. And you'll notice there are different colour strings, which we're going to talk about. And also some of you might notice arrows and things that will go through as well. So the black strings are connecting player characters and alongside those black strings are comments which we'll go through which kind of give you an idea of what the relationship between those characters are and those comments can be updated and changed as the sessions move on. Red strings are denoting relationships between a character, a player character this is, and a vampire and blue strings a vampire and a mortal. So let's start with Moses. So my player character Moses from Clan Nosferatu. Um, he has, uh, of course, relationships with all other uh, player characters, which are represented in black. And uh, there are some comments about how he feels about the others. Um, maybe Katya being too nice, a little bit like a, a, a mother hen. Um, Benjamin being feeling isolated, so he needs a friend. And, well, Jean seems like a solid kind of guy. A bit scary, though. Um, there are relationships uh, in red with other vampires, uh, mainly his sire, we're not talking about him, and um, Alice, which is a Bruya friend of his since the time well, before his embrace. So this is uh, Benjamin up here, uh, and just like with Moses, there are comments that, and about his feelings to the other player characters. So with Katya, he wishes he was more confident, like she is. Um, with Moses, he seems friendly and Benjamin likes him despite his jokes, which you may come to encounter more in the stream. And uh, with Jim, he's a bit rough around the edges and needs Benjamin's help, generally in terms of um, self-presentation at smart venues. <laughs> um, now you'll see, unlike some of the other characters, Benjamin has very few uh, contacts or friends outside the players at the moment. So the only one here is Edmund St. Clair, otherwise known as THE Edmund St. Clair. And that is Benjamin Sire, and he is such a wonderful man, as I'm sure you will all agree when you see him in the stream. So, Katya here, um, she has a, a little bit more information on her and other relationships besides the one she has with the characters. Uh, she talks about her sire, Oliver Whitlock. He is a tough and mean dreamer. And then we have a relationship with Will Price. Someone that we will all get to know rather soon. Um, mostly, she believes that Benjamin needs guidance. Um, uh, Jim can learn. <laughs> and, well, thinks that Moses is a little bit careless. But, well, she's, she's a mom. She's going to take care of us all. And lastly, the players, we have Jim Roy Woods down here. He's looking quite angsty and pretty tough with his claws. Um, we don't know, we haven't met in the stream Sarah, she's a little bit mysterious at the moment, and Alicia has only been kind of mentioned in passing, but he's Jim's sire. Um, and I can't help but note the word brutal on his comment there, which doesn't surprise me. Um, he's got some thoughts on the players as well, so uh, Moses is a potential ally. Uh, with Katya, he has the comment, is my sire right? Question mark, because there is a bit of beef uh, between the Gangrel and the Tremias and... Um, yeah, Jim wasn't particularly pleased to see Katya when they first met. And uh, with Benjamin, he says he needs to learn to take care of himself, which I think is a little ironic, given who, who most annoyed the prince when we met him. But that's, you know, just, just my opinion. Yeah, there are other characters here with us, um, characters that are central to the story as well. So we have Prince Emrys uh, and uh, Constable Jacqueline uh, from clans Ventru and Gangrel, respectively. There's also Plucky Jake, which is the Nosferatu primogen, hence the proximity to, to Moses in this instance. And uh, from last week's uh, stream, we have Michael Chase, the primogen of the Toreador. 
who is a lovely man. According only to <laughs> Ben. So this is something that, this is how it looked uh, by the time of the interval last week. And every week we're going to use a couple of minutes during the interval to update it with you guys. So if you have any questions or anything you want to comment about our lovely relationship map, feel free to do so and we'll try to address them the best we can. And you'll see this board with all the new stuff on it on Monday in the interval. Thanks for watching.